I'm sharing cutting off net top with lining and for that I'm using this net lace fabric this is one meter of fabric and for lining I'm using this rayon fabric this is leftover fabric and I had 80 centimeter of this fabric as I'm making top for small size if you're making top for medium or large size you will need around 2 meter of fabric depending upon the length of your top and the sleeves so for now let's get started for cutting firstly I'll cut the lining so uh, the top length of my top is 20 inch so I'll mark the length on 20 inch and I'll add 1 inch of seam allowance now I'll mark on vertical points from the top I'll mark a point at 6.5 inch from this point go 7 inch downwards and mark the point this is waist point now I'll extend these points Now for shoulder, take uh, half of your shoulder measurement. In my measurement, shoulder is 13.5 inch, so half of it is 6.75 inch. So I'll mark a point at 6.75 inch, and I will mark the same point on the burst line at 6.75 inch. Now I'll join these points. From this point, go 1 inch inwards and mark the point. Join these points too. For neck from the center, go 3.5 inch inwards and mark the point. And now from this point, I'll mark the depth of the neckline which is 6 inch for both front and the back side. Again from this point, go 3.5 inch inwards and mark the point and join these points to form a rectangle. Now I will make the round neck shape in this rectangle. You can make any shape. Now I'll mark the burst and the waist measurement. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. I'm adding 3 inch of ease. So 32 plus 3 is 35 inch and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch so I'll mark a point at 8.75 inch and for waist in my measurement waist is 26 inch again I'm adding 3 inch of ease so 26 plus 3 is 29 inch and dividing it by 4 I'll get 7.25 inch so I'll mark a point at 7.25 inch now I'll join these points. Now for bottom, from this point, go 7 inch downwards and mark the point. Extend this point with the dotted line. like this this is the hip line now on this line I will mark the hip measurement in my measurement hip is 36 inch so I'll add 3 inch of ease 36 plus 3 is 39 inch divided by 4 I'll get 9.75 inch so I'll mark a point at 9.75 inch now I'll join this point Now I don't need this point, I need this one on the bottom line so I will just mark this point and from this point I will go straight downwards. So this is the top fitting line 
Now I will add one inch of seam allowance. And I will join these points too. I forgot to mark the shoulder slope so for from this point go half inch downwards and join these points now I will make the shoulder curves this is the front shoulder curve And this is the back shoulder curve. So marking of the top is completed and now I will cut it. Firstly, I will cut the back shoulder curve. Now separate the back. And again fold the fabric. And now I will cut the front shoulder curve. So this is the base or lining for my top. Now I will cut the net top. So now I will fold the net fabric. Firstly I will cut the front out of it. I don't have to finish the bottom because it has this beautiful finish at the bottom with the flowers. So I will just fold the fabric and I will place the front lining part on the top so I have placed the front part of lining uh, on the top and now I will cut it So I have cut the front part of the top and now similarly I will cut the back side. So I have placed the back side uh, lining on the net on the other side because again I need this finishing. So I have placed the back uh, part of lining on the net and I don't need uh, seam allowance on the net fabric because it already had a finishing uh, uh, bottom. So I have excluded the end part of the lining and now I will cut it. I have cut both front and the back side. Now I will cut the sleeves and to cut them I will fold the fabric like this. So that I could get this finishing on the both sleeves edges. So for sleeves I have folded the fabric like this. This is double layer. Now I will mark the vertical points. Firstly I will mark the length of my sleeve which is 21 inch. I will mark a point at 21.5 inch for the seam allowance on the top. Now from this point, I will mark a point at 3.5 inch cap height, point at 6 inch, 12 inch, this is the elbow point and the 21.5 inch, the end point. Now I will extend these points. Now 
on the cap height i'll mark a point at 7 inch this is the shoulder length now i will mark the arm round at 6 inch arm round is 11 inch so arm round divided by 2 i'll get 5.5 inch so i'll mark a point at 5.5 inch at elbow point that is 12 inch arm round is 10.5 inch see don't take arm round like this just include one finger and keep the in measuring tape little loose so that you have the space to move your arm if you will if you will take the measurement like this there would be no space for your arm to move so always keep a finger like this and keep the measuring tape little loose so arm round at elbow point is 10.5 inch divided by 2 i'll get 5.25 inch so i'll mark a point there and at the end point arm round is 7 inch so i'll mark a point at 3.5 inch half of 7 Now I will join these points. So I have joined these points. Now I will add one inch of seam allowance. join these points too now i will join these points now measure this line this is 8 inch and divided by 3 i'll get 2.6 inch i'll take a round figure and i'll mark a point at 2.5 inch twice Now from this point go half inch upwards and mark the point and from this point go 1/4 inch downwards and mark the point Now join this point with this point with the slight curve Now I will make the front shoulder curve So marking for sleeve is completed and now I will cut it. So I have cut the sleeve and now I will take the two layers of sleeve and I will cut the front shoulder curve. So this was the sleeve for my top. Now the cutting is completed. I will share the stitching in my next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you soon till then. Take care. Bye bye.